Hey, Simon here from Rotterdam, and we're finally doing videos again. Uh, I'm very happy to do this video because we're getting a lot of questions about how to perforate substrate bags. So in this video, we're going to show you how we did it and how we do it now. So stay tuned. All right. Every urban mushroom farmer knows that they need uh, bags, substrate bags, to put the substrate in and there needs to be a good gas exchange. So how do you get this oxygen in and the CO2 out? Well, you need to perforate your bags. And uh, you can of course buy them off the shelf, but that is costly, uh, is not uh, locally sourced. Um, and uh, you can probably do it yourself for a better price. Uh, it's also good to do that yourself because then you uh, have control about the quality of the bag. So I want to show you uh, this uh, board that we have used before. Um, it is um, uh, a soft board with needles on it and it works uh, very easily. We, put, we cut the bag uh, on length. Uh, put it on here and then use a paint roller to press it uh, down and to make this uh, perforation uh, with the pins as you can see uh, here. Um, we did a, previously, uh, a previous video about that um, and it worked for us quite well but hey we're now uh, in a bigger uh, farm a uh, lot more substrate production so we need a lot of more bags. So that's why we developed a uh, perforating machine and that I want to show you right now. So come on and let's go to another room into our farm. Okay, this is it. I'm really, uh, I, I really love this uh, thing. It's a really nice uh, uh, device that we have created and the starting point is a regular uh, roll of tubular foil that you can get uh, at a lot of places all over the world. But uh, in order to get it perforated uh, on the right way, I really had to look into a way of uh, creating a row of pins. So the first thing uh, I tried was with, this, uh, with these pins. These pins are used uh, for securing shopping items and uh, preventing uh, theft, uh, but they were too long uh, and not doing uh, the job. They were tearing the bag. So uh, next step uh, was uh, trying a punaise. Uh, these uh, little punaises that you can use uh, to uh, put a paper in a, in a board, in a soft board. Um, the punaises worked, but the inner tube that I used for uh, putting it on didn't work. So then um, I was uh, looking for something with uh, straight lines and I found it in this anti, yeah, uh, anti slip. It prevents things from sliding um, and it has this really nice uh, uh, lines. Uh, and when I did this over uh, a dough roller, then it really worked and it really came together well in this uh, device. So it's a regular tubular foil going through a dough roller. <coughs> then here uh, are the pins that are connected uh, uh, to the dough roller uh, and it goes through here, below here and then here we have a way of uh, moving it. So using a regular drill, and that, my friend, is how we make perforated bags. So if you like our videos, don't forget to give us this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to be updated about uh, future posts uh, on mushroom cultivation in an urban environment. So we hope this will get your mushroom project further. See you in the next video.